feel like it's never good when I make these videos. <laughs> Especially with this camera in here. <laughs> or it's never good news. Well. I got some bad news. <laughs> so after um, announcing that we were going to the Gambler, we ended up losing, or not losing one of the trailers, but um, one of the trailers that we were going to use because we had two trailers. One of the trailers that we were going to use um, ended up, because I, I asked like everybody, and I was going to rent one, and then we were going to borrow one, and then turns out we found two of them, so we was going to rent two. Well, it ended up, everybody kind of backed out, so um, it was only me going at that point. So I was like, well, I'll just rent a trailer, and then I'll just go with the Miata. So that's what the plan was. I was just going to rent one go. Well, uh, I had a friend that told me that he could get a trailer, <clears throat> so I didn't have to rent one. And it was going to be a for sure thing, a for sure trailer. So I didn't, I didn't really even think about renting one. So um, I waited around, and then finally he got an answer. I should have rented a trailer. I should have put a reserve reserve on one, which I had one reserved, and I was gonna go get it. But by the time we got, they got back to us about the trailer. And told us that we were not going to be able to use it. Um, <clears throat> it was already too late. The place where I was going to rent a U-Haul trailer was closed. Every U-Haul was closed, and the one that one that was open didn't have any trailers; just had enclosed trailers. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to make it to this gambler. This case is a bummer. It really is. Uh, I was hoping that the the crew I had before would go, but uh, everyone backed out, and then the trailers, of course, didn't work out as planned. So, I w it was just going to be me. I was just going to go. I went, and, you know, got a tent and everything, so that we could I could camp out there with everybody while we were doing the gambler stuff and all that good stuff. But like I said. Uh, things didn't just work out like they were supposed to I, I was joking about it the whole time I was like it's uh, like the universe is telling me not to go to the gambler this year so I was completely joking about it and it ended up happening so and uh, why don't you just drive the Miata well I totally would <clears throat> but I've got razor tires on the back of it with the welded diff and the Miata had been hit in the front end, so it was probably totaled before. I don't have a, a bill of sale or a title or anything like that, so definitely not street legal. So there wouldn't be. And then I live an hour and a half, an hour and forty minutes from the uh, where the gambler event is going to be. So definitely not trusting that Miata. I, I actually got everything done on it. <laughs> it runs great. Uh, I was putting water in the radiator earlier, and I thought I messed it up, but uh, me and my daughter were working on it, and I was pouring water in the radiator, and she turned the water on full blast by accident, and water went all over the motor. I didn't think about it. I just kept filling the radiator up and while it was running, and nothing ever happened while it was running, so I didn't even, like I said, I didn't even think about it. Shut it off, turned it back on. Uh, when I found out the fans were coming on and everything was working, it's not going to overheat and it's not leaking water or whatever. So I wanted to back it up. It was in limp mode. So I was like, dude, why? <laughs> like, like I'm fixing to load this thing up. Well, we thought we was. thought I was fixing to load this thing up in a couple hours and now it's messed up. Well, it really wasn't. It was just TPS sensor got uh, got water in it. I just blew it out with a air duster and it worked fine. Miata runs good. So the Miata is ready. The Focus is ready. Um, I had a couple more, like a one more drain on the gas tank and some more heat and stuff, uh, like I've been saying. And that thing will be, have a little more power, be a better car than what it is. Smaller tires, of course. Blah, yada, 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 y'all have heard this a million times. But, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to be able to make it. And I am hosting an event. Uh, I was going to wait and do a full video on this. But I guess now is a good time to say as any. 
since I'm not going to be able to go to the gambler. <clears throat> I will for sure go to the next one because I'm in the process of buying a trailer, a car trailer, and then buying a truck. So the same place I got my car, my car's almost paid off. And the same place I bought my car, I'm buying a truck there. So uh, that's going to be great for me. I've already got the truck picked out. So very great for me. And like I said, I'm working on the trailer. And hopefully in the next three months, three or four months, that'll happen. So for sure, we'll be at the next Gambler. And <laughs> Taylor's telling me just go buy a trailer today. But like I said, everything was closed. So it just didn't make it happen. And this was the only reason I would have needed, needed a trailer. So I didn't just, I wasn't about to go and buy a $2,000 trailer just to go to this, just to try and make it or uh, make it to the event and further stress myself out because I've already stressed out about not being able to go because I really wanted to go. I was really looking forward to this. Like I said, I built two cars for it and uh, kind of just kind of slap it to face, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, I guess. But anyway, the event. So I'm hosting an event. Me and uh, my girlfriend Taylor have been planning this event and we have one partnered company that's going to be partnered, well, one company that's partnered with us that's going to be helping us with the event. And, you know, it's like a sponsor, I guess. And uh, we haven't really talked sponsors, so, <laughs> but I believe they are sponsoring the event. But they we're working on getting another company, as, and also I'm going to go talk to Stony Lonesome and see about doing the event there. So... This event will have nothing to do with like the gambler or anything like that, but it will have a, something to do with cars and a sort of rally rally type race. Now I've not got everything mapped out, but we have the event um, like we're going forth with it. So uh, just stay tuned for that video because it'll be a full video. But I just wanted to announce it and let everybody know, and because uh, we've been keeping it to ourselves for quite a minute maybe a month or two when we decided we wanted to do something like this so yeah it sucks I'm not going to be at the gambler I hope everybody has fun and hopefully this event that I'm that I'm making will um, happen within I think it's going to be hopefully within four months that's what we're shooting for so and uh, I will be at the next gambler and whatever event happens within Alabama hopefully I'll be there if it has to deal with like a rally race or something something I can film some content with that would be awesome and uh yeah just wanted to get that out there hope everybody has fun like I said and I will catch you guys in the next video or you know whatever you know it sucks is that a whole preparation video that I'm staring at right now on my computer whole preparation video of going to the gambler now it just sounds stupid because I'm not going to the gambler. It's so annoying. <laughs> I should have just bought a trailer. <laughs> but yeah, we could wait because, um, like I said, the event starts at eight o'clock in the morning. So I could wait, go get a trailer at eight o'clock in the morning from whatever U-Haul has one, and then go to the gambler. But like I said, I'm an hour and forty minutes away, so I had to wake up, drive to Coleman which is 25 minutes away from my house, get the trailer, then drive from Coleman, which is going to be a two-hour drive to the place. It's gonna, it would suck. It, was, it would suck. So it would just be a lot of time wasted. So I decided to not go this year or opt out. Not really, uh, I didn't really decide. It just kind of, you know, like I said, the universe is telling me not to go, so I'm not going to be able to go. <laughs> but yeah. Hope, uh, like I said, I hope everybody has fun. And I'm just going to end the video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Awkwardly stopping video. <laughs>